Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media. Now here are 10 gear recommendations for live streaming as well as video conference calls. The first one will turn any camera into a webcam. So if you have a camera laying around, you're gonna want a HDMI capture card, an HDMI cable, as well as a continuous power adapter so that your camera doesn't die while you're using it. These three things will unlock your camera to be used as a webcam, and we'll be sure to post links down to everything in the description below. You gotta just press record. The next is a GTEC monitor with a tablet mount. Now I love using this setup as a secondary monitor because when I'm doing live streams or teachings, I'm usually sharing a screen because I'm sharing some slides, but having a second secondary monitor, knowing that whatever you put on this is what you can share and that you could be sure enough that nobody's gonna see what's on your desktop is super smart. And what's cool about this monitor is it's actually powered by Thunderbolt 3. So you not only does it extend the display with the Thunderbolt 3, but it also powers up the monitor with it. So it keeps it super clean and minimal if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port in your laptop or computer. Otherwise, you'll just need to use the HDMI port and power up the monitor separately. The third thing I wanna recommend is a light for your desk setup or live stream setup, and that is the Godox ES45. This is a really cool light kit that comes with everything you need to include the light, the clamp, the stand that extends, as well as a wireless remote that magnets onto the back of the light, and it allows you to turn it on and off. You can adjust the brightness and temperature of the light, but overall, just a really cool one and done purchase that you will light up your setup. And if you didn't know this, lighting actually makes any camera you use look better. So if you currently have a webcam right now, maybe invest into a light solution so that your webcam can look even better because that's what lighting does. It just makes any camera look better. The next recommendation is brought to you by the sponsor of this video, and that is Elgato. Elgato is an incredible company that offers so many solutions for live streamers and content creators. But specifically, I wanted to highlight this mic. This is the Elgato Wave DX mic, and it's an XLR mic because XLR mics give you a much rich and fuller sound and much more reliable than a USB mic. But a mic like this would be needed to plug into an interface, which you could plug it into any interface, but when you pair it with the Wave XLR, it's just a super clean and minimal look, but also will give you a pro sound. So essentially, you're gonna plug in this mic via XLR into the Wave XLR, and then you're gonna plug the USB cable into your computer or laptop, and then you'll be able to control everything you need to on the Wave XLR, and they also offer mic arms, and this one in particular is the low profile one, so you won't see so much of it in the shot, which I absolutely love, and you actually save money by buying a bundle, and you can customize the bundle as needed based off of the mic and the arm you want, and the XLR, and maybe even a cable, but a one-click purchase is super convenient, and then you can level up the audio for your live stream, Zoom calls, video podcasts, or even online interviews. And so be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Thank you, Elgato, for sponsoring this video. The next recommendation aren't necessarily lights that are gonna light up your face. However, they are lights that are gonna light up your space. Hey, your boy can rhyme. No, I'm just kidding. If you ever want to hook up the way your video looks by adding some lights in your background, you could totally do so by checking out lights from Govi. A lot of us here at Think Media have invested in Govi lights and they're very inexpensive, but also super cool and easy to use. They always hook up to your smartphone so you can adjust the colors from them. But oftentimes in our videos, a lot of people ask us, what is that bar light in your videos? And usually it's the Govi light that we use. And they're really cool because they literally can put off any colored light that you can think of to even combinations of lights if you wanted to do so. But check out Govi products because we stand behind them and they're pretty sweet and they go with Google Plays and Amazon Alexas and things like that. But Govi lights are so sweet. This next category of gear will level up your productivity like none other, and that is the Elgato Stream Deck as well as the Loop Deck Live. Now, personally, I have the Loop Deck Live, but many other people on the Think Team have an Elgato Stream Deck. Both of these devices are customizable to anything you need them to do. I use mine every day to usually access websites that I need to hit every single day. And so instead of like going into the Google search bar and typing whatever, no matter where I am on my computer, I just hit a button, it opens up the page and I can get going. But that's just one way you can customize it. You can literally customize these devices to share screen, to mute your mic, maybe control a light, but it's literally unlimited when it comes to what they offered, but super clutch when it comes to just daily tasks. This next gear recommendation is also something I literally use every day, and that is the CalDigit TS3 
hub. They also released the TS4 hub, which has a lot more ports and a micro SD card reader and things like that. But essentially speaking, this is a dongle on steroids. If you find yourself plugging in multiple dongles or even just just so many cables, you know, going around when you, you know, show up with your laptop to your desk, this is the solution because not only will this power up your laptop, but it'll also extend multiple displays. There's Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 on the newer ones, SD card readers and things like that, but with literally one cable plugged into your laptop. And so I actually have it connected to my Mac mini, which has so many ports that actually I run out of. And so it opens up even more USB-C, Thunderbolt 3 and uh, HDMI ports and things like that. And so just definitely something that's worth the investment. I've been using them for like, I think well over three years. And as the TS4 came out, we're gonna be updating all desk setups here at Think Media. But the CalDigit uh, whole hub system is just totally a hack if you just wanna show up to your desk, plug one thing into your laptop and just go boom, I'm ready to go. Another couple audio solution recommendations I would recommend is a Deity Pocket Wireless. Now this is a wireless lavalier mic, but what's so cool is you can plug in the receiver USB into your computer or laptop and it'll send a wireless signal from the mic that you clip onto your shirt, which in many cases could be like what a lot of people need. Like if you just want a super minimal and plug and play solution, uh, having a mic like this would be super nice because there's no wires, there's no cable, you don't necessarily see it on video and it'll sound really good. But I love how the Deity Pocket Wireless makes it really easy to just hook up to a computer. And then the second is, you know, maybe you're on a budget and there's this mic kit that's literally around $50. It's called the FeeFine USB mic and it comes with your mic arm, a pop filter, the mic itself, the USB cable, and so much more for literally 50 bucks. And the mic does sound really good, but if you're on a budget and you're kind of wanting a mic like that, I would definitely look into it. And much of these items that I've recommended in this video, I think almost all of them, we've made dedicated review videos on. And so we'll be sure to post some of those down in the description below. The last thing I wanna talk about is the very pole. Not too many people know about this thing, but if you are in a fairly small space and you may not have room for light stands and tripods and things like that, there is this thing called a very pole that literally uh, is a tension rod that you could put in a space uh, that is less than 12 feet wide and I actually use this to hold up lights. Oftentimes when I'm doing live streams, it's usually holding up my hair light. So it just separates me from the background. But what's so cool about this is it doesn't leave a permanent mark, but it definitely creates a permanent solution for the time being. So I guess that would be temporary. Anyway, it doesn't use any you know mounting or anything. It just uses the pressure or the tension from the rod itself to hold whatever you need to hold up. So if you wanted to hang down your light to light your face, if you wanted a different light, or maybe you wanted to boom a mic or something like that from the top, you could totally do so. But the very pole is just a super clutch piece of, I call it tech, but piece of gear that I use when creating content literally every day uh, when I create in my home office. And so you can check that out. Again, links down to everything in the description below. And if you wanna check out a very similar video to this, but everything has to do with your smartphone. So gear that connects to your smartphone and makes creating content with your smartphone easier, then just click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.